EA Sports! What the hell are you guys doing over there? I can't believe I have to make this video. Something so simple should not be this big of an issue in EASHL. But leave it up to EA to screw the pooch on such a basic game function. So I'm gonna get very mean during this video, and EA, you deserve it. Now, am I talking about how full pressure is horrible for EASHL, and is the goofiest idea, and whoever suggested it and okayed it should leave their job immediately out of shame? Am I talking about the new ass goalie controls that constantly pull you away from short side, which leads to short side goal after short side goal after short side effing goal? Am I talking about the godly hip checks and pathetic dump and chase game? Actually, I'm talking today about the simplest detail in EASHL for over 15 years. Player customization. Yeah, that's right. This is how low we're going here. Now, I'm not talking about the player builds. Like, your attributes, player type, position, height, weight, all that stuff is fine. We'll cover it in a different video. It's actually dumber than that. The player creation and customization screen that somebody at EA should be flogged for, by the way. For this to be an issue in NHL 24, I mean we must have morons working on the game. The best way to show you guys what I'm talking about is to jump right in. So let's go. So here we are, the player customization screen for EASHL. There's the French Fry Master, Johnny Superb, man. And we are here live with you guys because this is the whole point of the experiment. Now, looks great, right? Nice and spiffy, EA Sports always upgrading the visuals. But how accessible is it? How easy is it to use for the player? So what I want to show for the experiment is we're going to change the French Fry Master, Johnny Superb, man, into Johnny General Zod to see how long it takes, right? I'm going to start my stopwatch right now and uh, we are going to do this experiment together now it shouldn't take too long I do know what I'm doing with the French fry master all we got to do first is remove the hairstyle and all the customization is still there from previous years which is nice you can move around really quickly as well so no problems with the player customization that's not what I'm on about so we're gonna leave his mustache and his eyeballs the same way uh, no helmet can I get the joke for helmet just yet oh my god look at these damn helmets there you go Edmonton Oilers looking like he's playing with Wayne Gretzky actually oh no 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 that's just my logo uh the gloves will leave a bower the skates we can leave the same way the stick as well no mouth guard General Zod doesn't need it clothing he's not gonna tuck that shirt no thank you so no tuck large shoulder pads looking just like Zod uh the uh the the pant length is fine the skates are fine the presentation you can go through and figure out what goal celebration you want right again no problem here the player audio when you score you can get a nice little emote for yourself uh, the details, this takes a little bit longer, but Johnny General Zod, we can absolutely just take care of this. All right, it's always fun when you're creating your own player from scratch. You can't wait to finally get him out there and play some good old-fashioned hockey with the boys, you know? So Johnny General Zod, play-by-play -play name Alsner. All right, whatever. Born in 1901, Toronto, Canada. Looks good, right? He's ready to go. Uh, the slap shot styles, there's 20 of them. Yeah, there's 21 timers and 20 shot styles. I'm just going leave them at 20 you can see it doesn't take that long and then the skating styles now this one does take a little bit longer but it is cool that you can adjust your animation however you want now if we're at a minute and like 45 right now I don't want to do this for every single one of them but imagine you had to right imagine you had a specific style that you wanted They'd all be at 50 to start. I like to go up to 99. I don't like to go all the way down to zero because then it looks like your guy is skating like upright. <laughs> it just looks so goofy. So you can take from this however you, however long you will. A couple minutes to do that, right? So when you're done all that, you got your player locked in. Beautiful. I'm ready to go. You think you're ready, right? Here is the major issue. And I can't believe this is even a thing in this game. You're not done. Because now what you have to do is you need to save it, change your jersey from home to away, and redo everything all over again. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is no copy to away. There is no copy to alternate. There is no make this my global pro. Nothing like that. Every change you want to make has to be done three times for your pro skater, has to be done twice for your casual skater, and has to be done another three times for your pro goalie if you want. So we're up to three minutes right now, right? And I, 
I flew through that General Zod training. I, did, I didn't even edit much. If you were to absolutely edit everything and had to do it, what, six times over? What do they want, 30 minutes up to an hour worth of editing for your damn player? I mean, what is this shit, EA Sports? I know this is something small, and I it's 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 good that they somewhat give you the flexibility to name certain characters. Like your home character could be one player, your away character could be another player. That's good. I always say give flexibility to the player. Let them play the game however they want to play it. But you don't give me the tool to copy the player over. So if I go to away right now, it's still going to be the French Fry Master. So if I want to go through the details, I got to type in General Zod again. If I want to go through the skating styles, I got to adjust all this again. And then I have to do it again for alternate. Holy crap. It's things like this that piss me off with EA Sports. One step forward, two steps back. All the... The flexibility and options are great, EA Sports, but you don't give us the tools to maximize it. And hell, I'll give you a little idea. How cool would it be if you could actually link different names and different styles to player builds? Forget the different jerseys. How about if I pick my puck-moving defenseman, I get to use the French Fry Master, Johnny Superb Man. But if I use a left-wing enforcer, I get to whip out Johnny General Zod. What the game wants you to do is to come back to customize, just to change everything six times over?! Get the hell out of here, EA Sports. So, I'm serious when I say whoever came up with this or overlooked it or okayed it and just said, fuck it, ship it. Get the hell out of EA Sports because you are ruining my hockey video game. <sighs> For Christ's sakes.